Atlanta U45 Morning Show. Restructuring. Restructuring Nigeria. The call has been on. And it's still on. Just yesterday, South-South governors met in Port Harcourt, and they're making the same call. They're asking for restructuring. Uh, the point reports sit this way, and I quote, Governors and leaders of the South-South geopolitical zone have demanded restructuring of the country in line with the principle of true federalism, saying it will guarantee peace, security, and stability in the country. The South-South leaders decried the present arrangement where others, uh, others or other zones, it should be other zones, depend on the resources of the Niger Delta. They say such an arrangement could not engender the development needed. So, their own is for true federalism. They also mentioned the resources. So two factors are there already. Well, I have those who do justice to this, and uh, you'll be invited to join in the discussion. I have uh, a public analyst, Ike Chuku Umekwe. Thank you for joining us. And, uh, of course, I'm Antunde Kolawole, who is a legal practitioner. You're thanks. welcome. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So, restructuring. You've heard the call, and you know the call is on. Uh, the West, you know, <coughs> has done that in the past as a body or as a group. Uh, calling for restructuring. Now the Southeast, add that to the individual voices you've heard. But the question is, what form of restructuring are we talking about? Uh, the South South leaders here talked of the principle in line with the principle of true federalism. I guess that's just like the United States, mm -hmm. where each state is, mm -hmm. you know, no, independent. No, no. Control your resources, you do your thing you know, you, the way you want it, not waiting for directive from the center. Though there are certain things that link all of them up. If you're asked to uh, decide the form of reform we, we want in Nigeria, what would be your take? Yeah, I also go with the truth like that. Mm -hmm. Because in this situation where we operate on a pseudo federalism that power and resources are controlled by the central government, um, you see that resources are not equally distributed. Now, if the states are giving power to handle their resources, handle their policing, um, you see that it will bring increase in investment into the country. Now, when the state is expecting quotas from the federal government every month, or annually, or whenever they receive quotas from the government, yeah. you see that they are confused on how to even use the resources. And sometimes it might not be enough, but when the state government is given the opportunity to invest into their resources, Calabar, they have, uh, they have, uh, in Calabar, they have um, this cultural and uh, this uh, First tourism, time. tourism, mm -hmm. tourism. Okay, tourism, tourism, tourism comes their pace, yes. Has mm -hmm. a very good system of boosting their personal economy, that's mm -hmm. the state economy. Zafara has gold, Port Harcourt has oil, Lagos State has human capital, human resources. If each state decides to go into, you know, when a state is giving its autonomous power to itself or to herself, and they know they are not expecting anything from the central government, mm. they not, uh, nobody wants to go broke. They will have to sit up. Yeah, they have hard. to sit up, you know, bring investment. In, and, you know, the federal government is going to give them Target. They have to send royalties to the central government mm -hmm. after their investment and everything. So now they have to bring in investors. They know that if we make this system work, we're going to get enough resources for the government here. If we make this system work, we're going to get enough resources. There will be check and balances put in place appropriately. Mm. Let's let's talk about the policing in Nigeria now. If the state government, the state government, they understand the terrain and the system of their states okay. much better than the federal. Because the federal government, they are not good. They, mm -hmm. they don't have that eye over all environment. Each state know how each local government, each geopolit um, geopolitical area of the state are affected by whatever is affecting them. And they know the adequate measures. Because including the, 
including the people, the indigents, the individuals of the state, into the policing system, the security system. They know their families are here. We need to protect them. They will do more than what the federal government can do. So I just suggest the federal government should just be in charge of the foreign policy. Mm -hmm. It should be in charge of the defense system of the nation. Yeah. And the currency flow. The rest they, they should hand over yeah, to the states. they should hand over to the states mm. because first of all, there's going to be increase in investment. Yeah. Structural investment. The the basic amenities are going to improve. Okay. Mr. Kolaule, do you agree the lines of uh, restructuring? Yeah, I, I, I do. But let me quickly say that um, I'm one of those Nigerians who don't believe in the breakup of this country. Mm. I believe that Nigeria is a very beautiful country. Are you saying that restructuring is equal to breaking up? Uh, when you look at the discordant tones mm -hmm. that are coming from the different parts of the country, if the call for restructuring is not properly managed. Mm. The possibility that it might lead to the disintegration of the nation okay. is very, very uh, mm. hard. Uh, as I was saying, I don't support uh, the breakup of the country uh, for two, three reasons. No, let, I, I want am, to get you right. The, mm, the call for mm, restructuring yeah. is not equal to breakup. I have said it's not, uh -huh. but it could lead to a breakup. If not, money. Because when you look at most of those countries of the world, that started with the kind of agitation that we are having now, like the Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. uh, it initially, it was a call for true federalism and the restructuring and all that. But lo and behold, you and I have seen what has happened yeah. in the Soviet Union. Because that the whole call Soviet was Union. not heeded. Uh, not that it was not heeded. I would say maybe it was not properly managed. And all that. and so it led to the breakup of the form of the former Soviet Union, yes. such that different countries now came out of out of it. You also look at a country like Yugoslavia, mm -hmm. which has broken into so many um, countries and what have you. So the, that danger is there. The reason why I don't support them, um, the breakup of the country is simply that uh, when you look around the world today, most of the countries that are making giant strides that are making phenomenal progress. They are countries with very, very huge land mass and very, very big population. You are talking about China. You are talking about Russia. You are talking about uh, um, uh, uh, United States of America. And it's simply because when you have a pool of, a huge pool of human resources to toy with and all that, you, you, you have variety, you have uh, all manners of things to, 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 to throw into the mix that can give you very, very good results. You also find out that the land mass might comprise of all different minerals and give you all sorts of varieties of agricultural practices and all that, that might be very, very useful. Nigeria appears to me to have that kind of possibility. Very huge land mass, huge population, more than 200 million people. There is hardly any pool of talent that you require to develop this society at the world today that you cannot uh, get. When you also look at our land, right from Meduguri to Lagos, from Sokoto to Potakot and what have you, they are all arable land that you, I mean, that you can manage properly yeah. to give you the desired result and then uh, make your people live very, very comfortable life. But that is not to say that um, we have practiced uh, a unitary system of government now for almost uh, 60 years and all that. And it would appear to me that we have not been able to weather uh, the challenges of, um, of a unity system. Uh, it would appear to me that uh, what the colonial master did in 1914 was not well thought out. Not well thought out in the sense that, uh, as it were today, there are not less than 250 languages in Nigeria. And those things that we call languages and tribes are nations before the white man came. Mm. They were nations, they were not just mere tribes. Okay, you just you hold know? it there. We have Olaleko on the line yeah. from... Hello, Ismael, I want to continue to the ongoing discussion. Okay, go the ahead. The is very good. Mm. It is good when people know where they are, who they are. Mm. It's, it's unfortunate that Nigerians don't know who we are. A caravan man now, an ethnic man, does not know his relationship with the man. 
does not know that they once upon a time they live together in far east. Mm. Like when I think the eastern part of the world. So and the Benin man doesn't know the relationship with the woman. And the Benin man doesn't know the relationship with Yoga man and so and so on. Because as we used to talk, as we have some check all only and something tries in Nigeria, I like to fall at it. Mm. It will fall at it from bottom of head. We only have three races in Nigeria. And these races are the Igbo set, the, the Aterian set, the Aterian set is Aota, and the Sulami set from Egypt. Hmm. Are you getting me? So, I mean, we know ourselves, before we can respect ourselves. I like what Barista uh, Sola always said earlier on. That is part of the, of the of management. If not, if it, we just go ahead and do what we can lead to as we are said. We can see to where you as example, there are many parts of the world. We can see. <laughs> So we need to know ourselves very, very well to study ourselves. You know, as an hour, forever, they don't know our relationship with each other. We need to know that. That is what we like to say. That's why I put forward a book, uh, 246 pages, whereby one can get to know this. That is my contribution. Well, uh, Lale, you've not told us uh, whether you are for restructuring or not. Uh, and if you are for what? Kind, what what form should it take? That's exactly what we are looking for, because you've okay. just said yes. No, restructuring, restructuring is good. What but kind of restructuring? Is it economic yeah. or is it on? Yes. Restructuring in every in every area of uh, our common way of our of life. Okay. Okay, we that's true the, federalism. Okay, true we federalism. Okay. Okay, so when you ask us to study each other, let's get to know each other. How are we going to do that, in your opinion? How we are going to do that? I don't want it to be like a practice man. The title of the book I wrote. No, no, I'm not, talk I'm not talking of your book. Tell us in principle, how do Nigerians get to know themselves and understand who they are? Without referring to the book, tell us. When you know your when you know where you come from, where you know how far you have been coming, from where you have been coming, and you can do it you are right here, that will give you a sense of belonging. Okay. All right. You don't, under, you don't understand my point. Are you saying that Nigerians should read up about their past or how they came together? We should go and read no. up. Eh? Yes. I may be reading your yes. book too. Okay. All right. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes. He was on. Yes. Yeah. So, as I was saying, the colonial masters just came in mm. 1914. Mm. And no, then I, I don't want to cut you short because okay. after the colonial, what the colonial yes. masters did, mm. when when Nigeria took off, mm -hmm. we were regions. Yes, that's so the, they gave us some. Uh, uh, that's the historiography. That's the that's where I'm going. Uh, we, that's we, the historiography. We that, not mm. the colonial masters. Mm. That's where I'm going. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, the north and the south when yes. it's. Uh, uh, together before mm -hmm. it was the colonial master that brought them together yes in but they gave us the leeway to manage that difference by, of course of course of course we were by aligning the different regions to Good. manage their affairs and all that. and you look at the constitutions and the 63s and all that, and all that. it gives you that power to really Good. be able to manage so, their affairs they, they, but somehow they took off well we are exactly that method, not they, the they, it was the military uh, yes nigerian who, nigerian factor exactly, not the colonial exactly. Matter. so when that military coup came and mm -hmm. all that, and then since the military have been governing us, we have seen more and more of a unitary system of government rather than the true federalism that ordinarily yes. we should have. If true federalism is money like mm -hmm. it is being done, no, in places no, no, like no. the US... Okay, that's what you are advocating too, true federalism. <laughs> hello, hello, Kokwala, how are you? Yes, go on, we, we can hear you. All right, and what I want to... I want to say how you take any for restructuring of Nigeria. Mm-hmm. What form? How how should the restructuring take? True federalism, regional restructuring. Mm-hmm. That is one. Then uh, Mr. Kola Rally already said that you said you were going to be here to break up. But for coming back, and uh, I'll ask you now, can you make a complete 
Can we bring down the volume a bit? Thank you. I think let's restrict the, the, the rules again so that uh, we can move on smoothly, okay? You have one minute. Each contributor has one minute maximum oh. to give, you know, deliver your point. And uh, let's stick to uh, the question so that others can uh, participate. Uh, the question is, how do you want Nigeria to be restructured? So when you call, of course, we know your name already. You say, my own form or my own suggestion about restructuring is this. Or Nigeria should be restructured uh, in line with uh, true federalism. That summarizes it. Or we w let's go regional, you know? Define your own uh, f form of uh, restructuring. That's what we want. We know the history already. Uh, we know what we have been going through. That's why people are calling for restructuring. So let's not go back to the history. Let's just go looking forward. If we must restructure, and that's if you agree, tell us how you think the restructuring should be like. Define it. In what form? Is it regional? Is it economic? Is it political? Is it whole? That's what we want to hear, please, so that we can make progress. So once you call, give us your own view of restructuring or form of restructuring. And um, that will be it. If we have questions, we'll ask you maybe to throw more light, OK? Let's leave out the historical aspect, because uh, we've come a long way, 60 years. OK, you know, thank you. Yes. So, you know, another problem affecting this restructuring, mm -hmm. apart from ethnicity, is religion. Religion. Religion as a whole mm -hmm. has brought different ethnic groups together. That's in Nigeria? That's in Nigeria, okay. or wherever. Mm -hmm. And Igbo can be a Muslim. Mm -hmm. Yoruba can of be course. Muslim. Yeah. Yes, it's brought different ethnic groups together. Mm. Now, people are now making their decisions based on religion. Are you sure? You know, this this young man who called now mm. said there are some states where you go when you want to drink beer, they tell you okay. it is haram. Okay, okay, I get your point. Do you understand? Yes. Now those people let's those people now they've been given the opportunity to create their own state mm -hmm. rules. Mm -hmm. And they will base it on religion. Such state rules yes. doesn't mean development would not come. Okay, let, let, hold it there. We'll come back to you. Hello, caller. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, we see the restructuring. Mm-hmm. I'm a perception. Come again. Come again. 
Your TV set, the volume of your TV set is high, so it's it's echoing. I don't know. You, you, are you talking of regions? Are you talking of regions? Can, can you bring down the volume of your TV set? Are you talking about regions or states? Regional, 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 regional. Region. Let's make it regional. Uh. Yeah, let's region, every region manage available resources in the region. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. When, when you talk of regions. Foreign government is there to manage foreign policies, monetary policies, and resource mechanisms. That's my take. Yeah, Kola, can we ask you something? Kola, before you go, before you go, when you talk of regions, you are suggesting that the various states now will remain as states, but subject to regional constitution or code. Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's what I was trying to say. Oh, it's gone. Okay, that's because th that would pose some challenge to it. States mm -hmm. are already independent yes. as it were yes. now. something it's going to do. Yes. One is it's going to increase participation in politics. No, are you talking of regional or regional. state? Regional. No, how do, uh, what, how, how do you, you have states now standing on their own. On their own. When you I will now go back to regions, you are saying, say, the southeast it, now. It does not generalize Should. taking care of the southeast, mm. the six geopolitical zones, mm. it does not generalize. You, you are now, creating another structure over the states now. Over the states, which okay. is going to bring about adequate checks and balances. That and the true federalism, where each state, because they are already standing, you know, my stand, separately. My now. stand, my stand mm. is true federalism. True federalism. But we should understand that each aspect, mm. both the regional and the true federalism, mm. they have their own advantages okay. and they have their own disadvantages. Mm. See, the regional, it's mm. going to bring about checks and balances. Mm. Now, each state reports to the regional government. Okay. The regional government oversees the affairs of the state. Mm. You know, we have the federal government, which is the president that oversees the foreign... Um, yeah, foreign, what I'm trying to do, I tell you, the, when we had regions, we didn't have states, right? We had, you had states, the eastern region. the very lesser... Mm, they were western kind region, of... Uh, at, at like 12 states at that point. At, 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 yes. yes, so they were less... Uh, yes, in yes, number. Yes, yes. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Uh, okay, Ben is on the line. Hello, Ben. Hello. Hello, Ben. Ben, we can hear you. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, something is wrong. We can hear you, Ben. We can hear your hello. You can no, hear I'm us. Not, I'm not with the screen. That's why I've left the way the screen because it's making noise. Uh, we can uh, hear you. We can hear you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let him know we can hear him. Hello? Let Ben know we can hear him. Tell him we can hear him. He, maybe he cannot hear us from here. Okay, let's move on. Yes. So you, you, you say we're already in states now. Yeah. If we go back to regions, region, say, for example, the five eastern states, right? Yeah, you know, Where they will not appoint a governor general. You know, shrinking the states now mm. wouldn't work. That's what I'm saying. It will create more problems. So, we, since we have the southwest region, mm -hmm. we have the south, south, south east. region, mm -hmm. southeast region. Yes. They should have a sense. You no, know, the presidency now takes care of the foreign policies, mm. and you have a prime minister looking over the affairs yeah. of the government. Mm. Now, the regional government reports to the prime minister. Mm. Now, the state government reports to the regional government. Mm -hmm. Now, there will be uh, separation of power. And checks and balances will be put in very adequate use. Okay. So that's for the region. That's one good advantage of having a regional government. Mm. But you know, a true federal system where each state, you know, that true federal system allows resources to flow smoothly. Yeah. Smoothly. Now the federal government, we are not depending on the federal government anymore. The federal government is depending on us. Yes. You understand? Now with whatever realities we remit to the federal government. The federal government helps invest 
Yeah. For the That's nation. it, under true federalism. Under true federalism. Okay. Now, there will be equal distribution of income amongst people. Mm. Employment rates will increase. Standard of living mm -hmm. will increase. Now, because the state government has to meet up with target. Yeah. They need human resources. Now, there will be the... Con like, you see, Lagos alone is so congested. Mm. Now, if Abia State decides, okay, let's invest into our, our, uh, our resources, the Abia states and the Eastern people, they have more of human resources, human talents, and, and skills. If they, if, if, if they invest in such, mm. they get to bring up new ideas, new things, they get to invent a lot of things, they get to do a lot of things that will make the government, you know, they, that will bring income into the economy. And okay. they need human, they need hands. So yeah. people, people, job opportunities flows around the government, around the, around the federal, the nation. You understand? And when that happens, there will be the congestion. Lagos so discongested. And there will be development and there will be overall. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Kolewele, mm. look at regional uh, uh, um, uh, restructuring. Do you think that's feasible now, regional? Yeah, it's uh, possible if uh, there's a consensus mm. that uh, it should uh, be done. Why not? Since that is something we have practiced before, before. we have an experience. We look at all the constitutions that we have had um, since um, even before uh, independence, so to say. Mm. You find out that, that you can always fall back on those, uh, on those um, extant constitutions and then uh, bring them up to date with the modern realities of what we have in there. What you need to do is uh, maybe collapse the local government mm. and then the state government might become divisions like they used to be, you know, in those days, they would yeah, have they a Jebu, Kiniko, yes. Division, mm. Ugoja, Divisions, Division. uh, yes. what have you. And then um, those songs will be now be reporting to the regional government. Then the regional government reports to, uh, to um, the federal government. The local government that we have in here could become wards under, uh, under the state, the uh, under the... Exactly. Mm. The, no, they do describe it as state. We said division. division. They will now yes. become a kind of words under the the, the division that we have in the different regions and other. Mm. It is practicable. It is uh, feasible. The, the, the fear that. of the, uh, only, the fear yeah. of domination. Yes. If you talk of region now, mm. again, let's take the southwest. You yes. have six states, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Now you've got to choose uh, a base. Exactly, mm? exactly. For the regional head. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, maybe that is easy to work out. Maybe mm -hmm. you can say the oldest state of all, let mm -hmm. it become regional. Well, you, but there has always been the capital uh -huh. of Yoruba land. Okay. Uh, now, the Lagos may argue uh -huh. that with you and say, no, Lagos mm -hmm. is more populated and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. Uh, so you, you could have some uh, bickerings even from No, that I don't think so. For example, too, I think Enugu has always been recognized as, uh, mm. as the capital of the southeast. Mm. And you Dito think for all the governors will easily agree and Dito now? For all the states will be agree. Oh, let's go back we? to that I formula. I don't think that would be a problem. Mm. You sure? Yes, I don't think that would be a problem. You fall okay. on the historical antecedents uh, mm. of, uh, of uh, the people. And you okay. always respect mm. history. Mm. Mm. Right okay. All right. The lines are still open. Let's hear from you. How do we restructure Nigeria? The call is on to restructure the country. The South-South mm. uh, uh, governors just met yesterday, and they're talking about it. Other regions have also raised their voices in similar uh, calls for restructuring. What we are discussing here is what form of restructuring. Regional, some people are saying go back to the regional format. Others are saying let's remain as states, true federalism, every state independent, have your resources, harness them, pay something to the center. What do you think? What do you think? Tell us what you think. The lines are open. You can also uh, send us your messages on uh, WhatsApp. We'll read them here or an SMS. We'll read them. The lines are on your screen. Okay. What do you see as a disadvantage? Because you, you mentioned the, the, the role or influence of religion before. Mm. Um, how strong could that be in uh, restructuring, the restructuring process? Would it be a minus or a plus? Apart from the north, so to speak, where you have majority of Muslims, uh, other states, um, other areas or zones, uh, if you can say, are um, mixed. Even it's the not, north is becoming mixed, but at least you still have dominance. It's not even about 
being mixed. Mm. I'm just saying the Muslims, mm -hmm. the Christians, yeah. they speak one one voice. Like the Christian have a voice they speak. The Muslim have a voice they speak. Now that, that's when you gather under faith. Yeah, yeah. But and outside forget, the faith circle, this is the point. Uh, everybody don't, mixes this is, this really. Is the point. Don't forget that different tribes make up this religion. Yes. And different tribes make up this religion. Do you understand? Now, in this scenario, ethnicity might not affect any decision. Now, we've seen cases where once people go to their religious body, whatever their religious body say, they come out to it. That's what they believe. That's their mindset. If their religious body say, we want this person to be the leader, we want this to happen. Mm -hmm. They just follow it because they feel it's going to favor their own faith. Mm -hmm. It's going to favor their mode of worship and mm -hmm. whatever it may be. So religion has always been a very stand big decision maker in the country, right? Are, are you saying that when we have a true federalism, it will be more pronounced, mm -hmm. more than it is now? Because uh, religion man. plays a role already in our life. Yes, uh, yes, but yes. Uh, okay, Ben is back. Let's see. Hello, Ben. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, uh, I just want to make a contribution in this program. Please do. We are talking about restructuring. Yes, what form? Then the first question I need to ask, mm. I'm from the Niger Delta. Mm -hmm. If 30% are being given to all the Niger Delta, what are they, they used to do? Come again. That is number one. <laughs> Come again. He said the resources are available to the Niger Delta. Okay. What, what have, have they done with it? The Delta, so what have they used to do from there? Mm -hmm. If I'm talking about restructuring, I think what we need to do now is for us to go back to religion. When we give the, the lawyer they said something, and I'm going to be a little bit for you to understand. Mm. The north, before the amalgamation, were running a budget of deficit. Mm. Why the south were running a budget of profit? Now, you match these two people together. You now bring, just like matching the two companies together. A company that was run as a loss and a company that was run as a profit, you now match it together and bring somebody who run loss to manage a company that is making profit. My brother, I'm an accountant. The little knowledge I know that he will, ma he will mismanage that same company. I hmm. no. If I'm going to just go find that way, go to your, go to your region. Let everybody depart. So let's forget the issue of whether Nigeria is negotiable or not. It, it doesn't, okay, if today we continue, we continue on the same economy. In the next 30 years, it's still going to be the same thing. Nothing will change. Hmm. How will the state, the most corrupt state in the whole of Nigeria, 10 of them are from the northern part of the country. Hmm. What have the government been doing there? What have those government been doing? Okay. Go to Sokoto, look at Sokoto, Sokoto is not in the right to Go to Tarama City, I'm not in the right to But they have the largest land of this. I think that is it Tarama or Jalingo. Have the biggest landmass of this. What are they doing with doing that landmass? Hmm. Hmm. I think what you need to do is every, let every region now become the country on their own. Let everybody just go. Because it's it, it, when two companies come together, and one company, the company that was making profit, is only no making profit. What is the essence of the company still existing? Okay. You, you are talking of regions, you. Ben. Remember, you're mentioning regions. I, yes, I heard him. He's it. talking about divisions. <coughs> okay, divisions. Mm. He, he, he last spoke on regions. Region. Mm. Now he's talking about divisions. Yes, mm. what I'm saying is emphasizing regions and divisions. Mm. Yes. Because when we talk of regional arrangement, you are saying the states now in that region will have to work out another. Uh, uh, cooperation arrangement. Yes, yes. Yes. First of all, they will not be independent, so to speak. Yes. They will work together. They will have to work together now, for a regional arrangement to uh, to, to make uh, sense. Now the grassroots now, the mm -hmm. grassroots now is going to be involved in whatever decision. Now, now we are not going to have much representation of the people in government mm. when we have regional government. Mm. And it's also the same thing for the state. Okay, we take a short break. Uh, we have another guest joining us. Um, let's bring him in and hear his own contributions too. In a moment, don't go away.
High reports gets even better with Super Screen TV. Stand the chance of winning recharge cards for your efforts. Send videos and accompanying description to this WhatsApp line on 0811-1776-314. Viewers can send footages of newsworthy items, breaking news and other events and have it feature on Super Screen Television. Stand a chance of winning recharge cards for your efforts. Send videos and accompanying description to this WhatsApp line on 0811-1776-314. High reports gets even better with Super Screen TV. with us um uh, tony foyato is just joining us now uh, you know he was here if you were with us yesterday he was on this show yesterday and he actually uh, muted this idea uh, and we said come back today and uh, give us your views on restructuring you're welcome thank you good morning you're welcome well, thank you good morning. okay now, yesterday, as we were talking, we agreed to uh, look at this. We've been talking about it, and um, the issue of regional arrangement has come up again. We're looking at what form of restructuring are we talking about. Some, some of the callers are going for regional, regional arrangement. And we said 